coming to you live from a country in Eastern Europe somewhere, actually into the West of Europe, in Greece. Uh, I am community manager for Gate.io, and uh, we are super busy, super, super, super busy behind the scenes, uh, doing all kinds of really cool stuff. Um, we've got loads of cool events going on, new uh, coins, tokens, which are listed, and, um, and also uh, products which we have released. Let's see, let me just grab the information of what we're going to discuss this week. Crypto news level, not not like a lot has been happening. Um, let's see, I've disconnected here. Yeah, not a lot has been happening in that sense that the most significant event which took place was that PayPal uh, had announced they were going to offer services in relation to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Um, but in the end, uh, it's not a super significant or it's not as significant as people would like. It's super, it's great for adoption, but obviously it's going to be according to their rules, their terms and conditions, you know, which has some um, some uh, um, extra extra P's and Q's. I mean, there's, there's some uh, extra things we need to pay attention to there, but overall they have like a huge 300 million uh, user database and it's a, it's a great institutional bullish sentiment signal towards other uh, financial institutions. And it's, it's going to be great for crypto adoption. Uh, because it needs to be normalized. Everything needs to revolve around usability and user friendliness. Um, I'm not about running own uh, nodes and understanding um, how tickets work. And um, well, okay, sure, it's it's great to know the basics, you know, but that's not going to improve adoption. Uh, what's going to improve adoption is when you call your grandmother and say, "Hey, grandma, can you send me some Bitcoin?" She's like, "Okay, cool. I'll use the PayPal app, son, grandson." Anyway. So um, that's the most significant stuff happening at the moment. There's been a hack of the Harvest Finance uh, smart contract. Didn't look deep into that, but that's definitely your, you know, your weekly FUD, as there is weekly FUD in crypto. Um, and uh, what else? Like, yeah, how about we just get into the announcements? I've got some exciting news at the end of the live stream, so stick around for me to tell you. Sorry, by the way, <laughs> the morning is so chaotic. I forgot to, to apologize to um, for the late start. I should have started 10 minutes earlier. Sorry for that. There were some technical difficulties. Um, so yeah, I'm going to announce some really cool stuff at the end in regards to some current events uh, which are going online, uh, some of which are very low effort, some are which are a bit more higher effort but with a higher reward too, up to 5K prizes um so we've got ramp defi that's been listed on uh, on gate.io um has it been listed i think it's been listed let me go check because these votes they go so sometimes i'm not even um up to date on which which ones have been listed and which ones have not but i believe it has let me see i believe the latest one is hive that's ongoing we're going to talk about that in a sec yeah ramp yeah, Ramp has been concluded, so they're going to be listed, and they have been listed, uh, which is great. Ramp is a, um, a liquid capital provider. They they seek to unlock liquid capital from staked assets. Uh, they propose that the state capital on the non-ERC20 staking blockchains can be collateralized into stablecoin RUSD, which is issu issued on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, similarly, users on the Ethereum blockchain can mint EUSD by depositing. 20 stable coins into ramps eusd liquidity pool so if this isn't, doesn't get more DeFi, i don't know what does because DeFi generally is um you know for advanced users in the sense that the lending borrowing staking and exchange uh, um, opportunities take place at a very high level and are also very um uh, complicated to to understand it's it's simple from a uh, like a staking perspective, you store your coins and you get a staking perspective. Uh, you get a staking reward. Um, that's not that's not very hard. But there are also all kinds of variations where you can lend out your funds, you can borrow funds, you can get a, an interest rate on your funds um, in various forms of liquidity. That's that's a little bit more com com complicated, as is the case here with Ramp DeFi. Um, we've migrated a new contract for Multivac, which has the MTV ticker. Upon request from their team, this is following the OKEx hack. Uh, sorry, no, not the OKEx hack. Um, following a, which one was it actually? Exchange stuff for the hack. Funds were stolen. Anyway, I'll get back to that in, that in a sec. Um, Multivac has 
Oh yeah, sorry, KuCoin, that was it, obviously. I got a bit confused as to which uh, exchange was hacked at this current moment in time. OKEx is a different story. Their, uh, one of their co-founders is currently you know, being questioned and currently, um, and supposedly, the, the private key holder of the majority of the tokens, which is causing delayed withdrawals. But that's a whole different story. This is about the KuCoin hack, uh, MTV. Um, they uh, asked for us to migrate to a new contract. So we've migrated as well. We've done that. We listed a vote for XDAI stake, which is a multi token designed to secure the payment layer. Uh, they won that vote and have been listed as well, currently um, hovering around $12. Um, we got a really cool events going on, one of which is the Referral King program or Queen program, um, however you want to look at it. There's the 30K USDT reward pool. And then the question is, who's going to be the referral king, right? So there's the 30K pool uh, and the person with, it's pretty straightforward, the person with the most referrals is the, going to be the one who wins the most amount of uh, points because that's what you're going to be paid in. That's what you're going to be uh, awarded, gate points. Um, 500 worth of a GT bonus will be the prize for the top referrer. Um, check out our announcements. If you go to over to our announcements and type in uh, 30k USDT reward or you type in referral king program or you just uh, scroll down, it's one of the most recent announcements. Definitely check that out because it's worth it, you know, uh, and it's very low effort. We are going to support the migration from ARN to ARNX from Aaron coin. Um, we've listed chicken swap KFC token. Don't ask me about that, but that's just what that is. Um, VIP privileges for full, full scale upgrade. That's not really super interesting for now. What is super interesting for now is that we have uh, an ongoing bug hunt legend campaign. So this revolves around um, checking out the Gate.io website uh, or app or our GitHub page and seeing if you find any kind of flaws, uh, like low effort flaws in design to high effort and more critical flaws in um, in the database, in the code, in the structure, in any uh, really significant uh, critical uh, bug, so to speak, uh, you can get rewarded quite extensively. So check that out, you know, because we obviously uh, acknowledge that, you know, we're not perfect. We're trying to maintain a standard and are acknowledged as an exchange, which um, maintains a very high security standard. But in doing so, you know, there, there's always going to be something which falls through the But obviously critical bugs are not supposed to be there. If you find one, go ahead and try, try and attempt to find one. And we can then uh, all together have a look um, to see if you can claim a reward, if it's significant and you can point it out. That's one of the uh, really cool things which is happening. Uh, there's a startup project with WooTrade which is incubated by the top quantitative um, fund, Kronos Research. They aim to solve the pain points of the diversified liquidity of the crypt cryptocurrency market. So um, trading depth is often an issue for traders, uh, the trading market, market makers, market takers, and they are trying to facilitate a sufficient trading depth uh, for users, such as exchanges, wallets, um, trading institutions with zero fees. They're going to launch their token via gate. Uh, head over to the announcements if you want to participate in an That's the closest thing to the old pre-2017 uh, definition of an ICO you can get nowadays. And um, some of the projects projects which have participated on gate.io have done really well, such as um, uh, Zero, Zero Cash, and Cardia Chain as well. Um, have a look at that. That'll definitely be interesting. Don't forget to go over to our hold and earn um, staking area because more often than not, you can deposit your tokens, uh, USDG, which is Gate.io's very own stable coin, to get like um, a return which varies between, like at the lowest, it'll be 9%. At the highest, it can be anything to 120%, obviously um, adjusted to the volatility of the specific project. So let's say there's a project which is volatile in the sense that it's just been um, published. It might not even be audited yet. Uh, so the token, however much backing it has from institutional investors or project participants, 
might fluctuate heavily due to being released into the market will have a high staking return of up to 120%. And the more stable projects such as uh, USDG, USDT, and the major um, the major cryptos such as BTC and F, uh, ETH, EOS, depending on how you look at it, uh, will garner um, an interest rate over a period of 7 to 20 days of 9%. So that's still better than, you know, better than your bank bank at home who will give you a negative interest rate, who will charge you money for storing your your deflationary currency, sorry, your inflationary currency on um, on your bank, which is always a big no-no. As is often said throughout the markets, cash is trash. That's true to a certain extent, obviously dependent on where you live in the world and what you are holding. But um, why not? Why not stake your coins? You know, why not? Uh, if you're not much of a trader, why not put your coins away and let them generate some interest for you? And even if it's a, a very small, uh, seemingly insignificant amount at this, mo this moment in time, it might become uh, a much bigger amount at the next parabolic uh, move in the bull market of 2021 or 2022 or 2023, like who knows, right? They can take forever. No one really knows. Some people seem to be sure we are gonna have a um, from now until May 2021, but no one really knows. No one really knows what's gonna happen. No one knew that Corona, COVID-19 was gonna be a fact either. And that's influenced the markets significantly. Um, so yeah, that's, that's something I, I would definitely recommend to check out because we have some really great uh, staking product, products and a whole variety of coins you can uh, stake your tokens on um, with liquidity mining as well. So there's TRX, actually, if I head over and take a look at the moment. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So you head over to lending and mining, uh, you click a little drop down appears, you click on hold and earn, and then you see there's three categories, the other ones coming around, preheat, uh, which are um, planned. So, for example, hold and earn BTC, 5%, 7 days, minimum 0.01 BTC, maximum, I believe, 15 BTC. Then the same for ETH, minimum 0.1 ETH and maximum 500 ETH at 6%. That's going to start, both of them are starting, well, one is starting in 17 hours and the other one is starting in one day in 17 hours. And as for the ones which are on at the moment, actually, is that a lockup and earn? Yeah. So, no, it's not. One second. Yeah, BTC and ETH, which will be released um, in 24 hours approximately and 48 hours approximately, are lock up and earn. So you put your coins there, you stake them for seven days, can't touch them. It's also very clear in the notifications that you can't touch them. And then um, you take those back. You get the, the, the staking reward after the, the staking period has concluded. As for all the other ones which are available at this moment in time, um, there's USDG, TRX, 10%, um, 9%, EOS, 4%, POS mining, proof of stake, ALGO, VT, Zero Cash, the one I just mentioned, which took part in our um, um, in our uh, IO platform. So then there's USDT test. I'll stake and earn and 0.24. If that doesn't suit your fancy, then we've also got um, another listing vote coming for Hive. And we have a really cool event at the moment, which is for Halloween. Um, we posted just today. And as you know, everyone who's been around in crypto, it doesn't matter if you started in 2013, 15, you started a month ago, then it's super scary if you started a month ago. Uh, everyone will have had a, a negative, scary crypto experience at one moment in time, whether it be that you mm, can no longer log in, that you logged into the, the, the wrong URL, that your exchange where you have the tokens was hacked, that your wallet has been hacked, your, your uh, custodial wallet has been hacked. Um, you lost your private key. There are so many experiences which are, you know, not uh, um, they're, it's not preferable to have them, but they happen nonetheless because you know you're you're basically in a learning curve. This is not a very mature market, just based on the fact that uh, we we've only been around for a little over ten years, and there's a lot of learning to be done. It's complicated. There's a lot of information coming our way, so we decided 
um, it's a really cool um, event where you can share your personal crypto story. Uh, you can submit it to our platform and the most horrifying crypto story um, wins a reward. Anything varying from 100 USDT worth of GT to $50 uh, worth of uh, USDT worth of GT and 25 USDT worth of GT for the third prize. Um, check that out and I'm going to retweet it again on I think Wednesday and we're going to see how the submissions are going but it's a great opportunity uh, and I'm sure you guys have some stories to share. I have plenty of stories to share as well from back in the day when my coins were locked at some exchange for two months um, and they were stuck but this was back in 2017 or 2016 before uh, before the, that bull run really took off and while it was happening uh, doesn't matter if you had an account there you know and you were submitted like uh, I, I had accounts going on but they did, a lot of exchanges didn't have the processing power to you know for new users to onboard the, the platform the servers were getting overloaded um, so certain blockchain well loads of blockchains were slow in processing transaction information so um, one of the things which um, my, my tokens were locked in a certain exchange for a very long amount of time. Uh, I've sent to tokens to a wrong address before. Well, not per se, per se to a wrong address, but I've sent them to a smart contract of another exchange, which doesn't mean they're entirely lost, even though they claim uh, that that's true. Uh, it means you have to wait a period of time for them to do the research to get those tokens back again. Um, and also, yeah, there, there are all kinds of events which happen. There's one very significant story on Wired. Maybe I'll publish that because that's uh, quite a cool story in relation to the, the Halloween event we are currently having going on. It's a story of an editor of Wired who had Bitcoins, but then wrote his private key down to paper and uh, that piece of paper got thrown away in the move. And it's about how he employed a very young uh, white hat hacker to get access to his ledger in any case. Um, I'll check that out for you and there's not much to share at this moment in time. Sorry for the delay guys. I hope everyone has a great week and um, yeah, take care everyone. Bye-bye.